Hi everyone, my name is Tong Yuehan. I'm a doctoral student from Beijing University of Post and Telecommunications. This is a joint work with Wuhan University. In this work, we design a pre-training framework which distangles the modality common and modality specific item representations by contrastive learning for recommendation. This is the outline of my presentation. Start with the background and the motivation of this work. Then I describe our model in the order. Then experiments follow. We make a conclusion at the end of my report. Recommender system is a widespread application of artificial intelligence techniques fusing different modalities relevant with items can generate a high quality recommendation such as viral modalities, textual modalities. This auxiliary information can elevate the sparse problem to some extent. However, exploiting uni modality information may not produce a comprehensive feature learning for each item than combining multiple HIT genius information of different modalities together. Unfortunately, existing multi-modality works mainly focus on learning common knowledge across modalities, while the specific characteristics of each modality is usually discarded, which could be very useful for recommendation. As shown in the first finger, some works utilize the encoder-decoder models to align the common characteristics between the two modalities, while the modality-specific characteristics are always neglected. This information loss phenomenon inevitably decreases the recommendation performance. As shown in the second finger, some works fuse heterogeneous information of different modalities with some simple operation like vector concatenation. However, this straightforward function approach encodes both modality common and modality specific features into a single vector representation and therefore complicates the model learning process, leading to inferior performance. We take an example in the picture. Modality common features include woman, slave, Viral modality features include brown hair, black pants. Textual modality features include Kelvin Kellen, fabric is nice. Both modality common and modality specific features are very useful for recommendation. Based on this background above, our work's motivation is how to align common characteristics of multimodal data and preserve their specific characteristics without explicit supervision. Next, I will introduce our model PAMD. PAMD is a pre-training framework as shown in this finger. It consists of two modules, a distangled encoder module and a contrastive learning module. We first introduce the distangled encoder. In this finger, this is viral primitive representation extracted by pre-trained VGG19. This is textual primitive representation encoded by GLOW. And they are modality common representations denoting the modality common characteristics shared by two modalities and they are extracted by MLPs. Given the primitive and extracted common representations of each modality, we then utilize a subtraction operation to obtain the specific representations of both textual and viral modality. This is distinguished viral modality specific representation 
and this is distangled textual modality specific representation. We will introduce the laws of distangled encoder next. We decompose each modality to two distinct representations to guarantee the resultant modality common and specific representations capture different aspects of the modalities. We further aid constraints on the decomposed representations. Specifically, for modality common representations, we minimize their discrepancy to force them align together. While for modality specific characteristics, we apply an orthogonality contrast to force these modality specific representations share non common characteristics. In this page, we'll introduce the contrastive learning strategy. Recall that in this tangled encoder, we force the distangled representations containing different aspects of modalities. We can't guarantee each representation containing the desired properties. For example, the common representation rarely keeps the common characters over modalities. It's hard to build the supervision signals to get the above decomposition profiles. So in this module, we aim to perform the cross modality arrangement over these property representations by taking the primitive representations as answers. We take the viral modality as an example. This transformed representation is obtained by viral primitive representation. This transformed representation is obtained by viral modality specific representation. This transformed representation is obtained by mod modality common representation. We'll introduce laws next. There are three losses in contrastive learning model. RDEC, RDEP, RDES. RDEC represents the decoding loss between modality common representations and two answers. RDEP represents the decoding loss between primitive representations and the two actors. RDES represents the decoding loss between modality specific representations and the two actors. And these three losses should follow the relationship in the, in the finger. Since the gaps measured in RDEC, RDEP, and RDS all use the primitive representations ET and EV as the answer. RDEC should be smaller than RDEP. Since ETC and EVC are the more desired inputs for mapping than ET and EV respectively. Similarly, since we expect ETS and EVS to contain no common characteristics, RDEP and should be smaller than RDES. Hence, the contrastive learning is defined by utilizing this gap contrasts shown in this finger. PAMD is a pre-training framework. The losses introduced above are used to train the network. Then we get this modality common and the modality specific representations. We adopt a pairwise ranking optimization framework as the downstream recommendation model. The parameters of PAMD are further functioned during the recommendation learning phase. We test our model on three datasets. When testing for ground truth atoms, we randomly select a thousand negative samples and compare it with positive samples. Recall and indecision are used as evaluation metrics. We compare our model with seven baselines, including one traditional recommender, three modality-enhanced recommenders, and three multimodal recommenders. As shown in the table, by incorporating 
Operating multimodal information, we can see that BPR data performs better than BPR. Core AE performs consistently better than VECF over all the three datasets. MMGCN obtains a better performance than Color AE. Finally, by leveraging both modality common and modality specific item representations, our proposed palm achieves significantly better recommendation performance across the three datasets in terms of both recall and NDCG. In the ablation experiment, first we analyze the impact of different representations. Specifically, in the recommendation phase, we remove the modality specific embeddings and only utilize modality common representations, and we denote this variant as PAMD-S. Similarly, we choose to keep the modality specific representations instead for recommendation. We denote it as PAMD C. We found that PAMD C performs slightly better than PAMD S. Moreover, it's clear that PAMD obtains better performance than those two variants. This suggests that each modality indeed has its own specific characteristics that can not be aligned with another modality. Those unaligned characteristics also play significant contribution towards a better recommendation. In this operation experiment, we analyze that whether the contrastive loss is more effective than the other options. Specifically, we update the objective function of pumped with L shown in the finger. It means pumped pre-trains multimodal representations without a contrastive strategy. The results show that the post-contrastive learning strategy is more effective. Pumped can well handle the arrangement and the separation over modalities and obtains robust mod modality representations. In this experiment, we conduct experiments to check whether PAMD can bring further improvements to other models, specifically based on the well pretrained modality representations on our recipe's dataset. We directly apply them on these models by concatenating these four different representations together. We can see that after pre-training by pumped, all the baselines can achieve better performance. It demonstrates the effectiveness of our pre-training strategy, which can learn robust and effectiveness of modality distangled item representations. In this work, we propose a pre-training framework named PAMD. Specifically, PAMD contains a distinguished encoder and a contrastive learning. The distinguished encoder aims to automatically extract their modality common characteristics while preserving their modality specific characteristics, while the contrastive learning aims to guarantee the constants and gaps between modality distinguished representations. For recommendation, we have shown that both modality common and modality specific have their own contributions to the improvement of recommendation performance. This work can provide a new perspective on multimodal representation learning for recommendation for our future work. That's all my presentation. Thank you.